Hi, I'm Olivia Wilde. Welcome to the set of my Allure cover shoot. I grew up dancing, and I really like dancing. I hate gyms. I hate them. I like getting in shape for movies. Like, I like having a goal, and it's fun, especially if the character has a specific skill. I like learning it. I've done that with free diving, with martial arts, with all sorts of things. I always think the sexiest people are the people who are most comfortable in their own skin. So I think confidence is sexy, but it's a specific type of confidence. It's not arrogance. That's what people pick up on when they say that, that, that you're attractive to them or you're sexy. It's just, you just feel comfortable in your body. The inspiration for the shoot is kind of 70s, ethereal, quite soft. Paul Kawako told me that the picture of you know, David Hamilton in 1970, that is like you know, very blur, very soft focus. So what I did on her is gorgeous skin, very dewy finish. And on the cheek, I used like a really uh, shimmery white, the whole face. So that the enhance on the brow bone, on the nose, on, uh, on the cupid of the lips. Yeah, so the whole thing is very natural, gorgeous. I think I feel the most beautiful first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, even though you may not actually look your best, I kind of feel the best because there's something, you know, you're rested, you're relaxed, your facial muscles are relaxed. But I just think that when there's no expectation, when you're not trying to be beautiful and you're just relaxed and, and unselfconscious. I guess that's that's one. And then the, the far extreme from that, the other end of the spectrum, is when you get to really have fun with fashion and makeup and go really nuts with it and kind of play and become a character and transform. And then that's a different kind of beauty, but that's really fun too. You know, the thing that happens as you become more visible in this business is people catch you unaware. And they catch you when you're not prepared to be photographed. And that's always the worst, because like, you don't want to become that person who's constantly prepared and paranoid. So you just have to relax and be yourself. And people catch you looking terrible, which they will. It's, you know, you, it's regretful, but in the end, I think it's the only way to exist without letting it destroy you. This is, this is how I imagine the girls that are constantly prepared. Because they can't, they can't touch anything because they don't want to ruin it. And they're like, 